I am Penguin and need to slightly adjust my little bit out of frame here, as I can tell by the camera. Up for y'all. Um, welcome to 80 Bit Pod Smash's weekly Wednesday live screen. Just uh, checking my sound here. Boop, don't need this anymore. Um, yeah, welcome to 80 Bit Pod Smash's weekly Wednesday live stream. Sorry for those of us who'd like to watch us live the last couple weeks. There haven't been many events that we've had because um, Termite's been out of town and which is the reason why I'm streaming two nights in a row. Furthermore, I was planning to stream Biomutant this week um, because I had pre-ordered it, hoping that the game would be decent and um, arrive this week because uh, it was supposed to come out. Um, the reviews were not favorable, so I kind of just panic, panic canceled that purchase and I don't really regret it. Um, I wanted to support the developers as they did not crunch to make the game, but, uh, the game also has to be good. Like, at least decent, and it just, it reviewed in just such a way that I was like, no, I'm sorry guys, I will buy it on sale, but I won't buy it at full price, unfortunately. So, um, I had to pick something else last minute, and I was working on this. I don't think we've streamed this yet, um, and I was working on the trophies for this, so apologies if... Termite has streamed this recently, um, but I'm streaming it now because I want to work on the trophies for it. And Rift Apart is coming out, the sequel or follow-up to this. Rift Apart is coming out in June, so I'm kind of trying to get hyped. Anyways, this is great. This is the remake of Ratchet and Clank that came out in 2016. Um, and I'm going to... Well, I need to see... There we go. Do these level up? with cheats turned on. I don't know if they do, but I needed to <sighs> do stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, great game. I beat it a while back, a couple years ago, and I loved it. Um, but I was not really pursuing trophies at that time. So this time I was like, oh, I need to pursue trophies since the new one's coming out. <clears throat> uh, they just recently released a 60 frames per second patch. So that's awesome. Um, I am working on a couple of trophies here. One is to make every enemy in the game, including these bosses, dance using my Groovatron. So this is fun. Uh, the Groovatron is a great weapon. Um, all you need to do is make every enemy do it once. Every enemy type, I should say, do it once, and then you'll get the Platinum. Um, Um, the other trophy I'm working on is I'm trying to get all my weapons to level 10. You can see there's a little level indicator underneath each weapon. Um, there's a ton of weapons. You can see here there's basically two of these pages worth of them. Um, the ones that are stuck at 5 right now, I haven't unlocked their upgraded versions during New Game Plus only, which is New Game Plus is called Challenge Mode. And then of course the last trophy is just beating Challenge Mode. Um, Oops, that's not what I wanted. I want... Look on if I don't have him yet. Um, so you can play... Challenge mode is not like a difficulty thing. It's just got like new stuff. Um, new features and all that stuff. So um, I actually can play challenge mode on the easiest difficulty, which I am, just to get trophies. I think I beat the game originally on normal. <clears throat> we lost control of the subject. Uh -oh. I think I'm going to make these frogs dance, so we're good. Um, apparently, people who were people who love this franchise have mixed opinions about this entry only because um, it made enough changes to the original to make people mad, I guess. Um, or it doesn't quite have the edgy humor, something along those lines that people complain about. <clears throat> but um, I never played the original, so this is uh, good enough for me as far as I'm concerned. Whoa! Sorry about that. We are gonna use my magma burster. 
Nice. Zircon got a level up too. Aside from being required for the trophy, I love the Groove Bomb because it's great crowd control. Let's see what else am I working on? Yeah, we got a few more shots left. Trying to obviously prioritize the things I need to level up. I haven't bought any of those yet. I want this ammo. Where's our comms? And he's down. Greetings, Yay! Skipping all the cutscenes because we're just trophy hunting. Just Ain't nothing I ever seen, seen before. Found out what Trek is up to. <clears throat> you did, but that's him. Video is not supported in this browser. I'm going to refresh the page here. I hope I'm still live. I can't really tell if I'm live or not because my video didn't start running on my stream preview. Sound was working just fine. Yeah, okay, all right, cool. It's working now. Uh, it's working now. That's what's matters. Farm, um, so there's what I was doing earlier is you can enable cheats, um, infinite ammo or invincibility if you want. And I tried infinite ammo earlier and I wasn't getting any of my weapons to level up, and it may have just been timing. But I really don't want to risk having to like do a bunch of grinding later if I can level them up just by carefully choosing which ones I do. So um, I decided to turn it off for now and just hope for the best. All right. Hey, oh, I bet the Rangers can use jetpacks. Should we head to Gas Bar and see if we can get some? Uh, I've always wanted one of those. If you can get one, Alaris can build a few more for the Rangers. I hereby assign you the not at all deadly mission of acquiring one jetpack. Captain Jetpacks in this game are a blast. Supposedly, the new one, Rift Apart, designed specifically, it's going to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. It was designed with the PlayStation 5 architecture in mind. It's going to be great, I think. I hope. <coughs> I really hope. <coughs> it's going to be the first, like, widely accessible PS5 game, so I really do have high hopes for it. But supposedly, people who have played it say it's like playing a Pixar movie. 
Which planet should we go to? We must learn what Nefarious is up to on planet Gaspar. All right, Gaspar it is. This planet is arguably my favorite because of the jetpacks, and it's heavily jetpack focused. Maybe. All right, let's go find you a new jetpack. Ratchet dreamed of riding that grind rail, which he will do as soon as he finds some grind boots. Check out my inventory. All right, the upgrade. It, probably. Well, you see something you like? This is the like perks upgrade, whatever you want to call it, thing. And I'm trying to focus on upgrades that I am using for the weapons that I'm currently using. Obviously. And there's also a trophy associated with unlocking them all, I think. Hmm. Nefarious has built quite the operation. Well I thought it was just the bonus perks, but maybe I'm crazy. Enemy variation to groove a bomb. I can use the turret, but I won't because I need to upgrade my weapon. You can make the turret dance, that's awesome. <laughs> I believe I need to use the turret to blow up the door. Ratchet. Perhaps the turret. Great. Reinforced door. Why does everything have to be made of dense alloy? I will try not to be offended by that. Stop killing things. Can I just mix them? That's the problem with the Zircons, is they like to kill things. I need to make sure I groove the bomb thing. Mr. Zircon is bored. Mr. Zircon can go away then. You're killing everything I need. They're very nice when, you know, I'm not trying to go after a trophy here. Oh, 
there's enough. And peasant. No, not Zircon. You learned our lesson. Now we can Zircon. Come on, Sure that thing dances too. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm recovering from a little cold of some kind. Can I aggro those birds? Can I do the bomb those birds? Can't tell if they're dancing or not. Whatever. We'll bomb them later. Just, the stream will shut on my end and not on y'all's end. Come into the range of my Groovatron! Oh, 
turret as always. <clears throat> See, it's just so good, the Groovatron. Even though I just need it for a trophy. One would use the. Oh lord, I'm about to die. Are those grind boots? A tripod lock. In order to bypass it, the duo would have to quickly activate all three pressure pads. Quickly activate all three pressure pads. Grind boots. How very 90s. A shiny new pair of grind boots. With his grind boots strapped on, Ratchet leapt onto the rail. On the hunt for the jetpack, Ratchet used his newfound grind boots to explore the planet further. Oh, I just might make my enjoy your new proton. All right. Ratchet stylishly leapt onto the rail Eww. next to him. Ouch. Smack the line. Refueling station as soon as he collected the jetpack. Here, birdie, birdie, birdie. I guess those birdies are just decorative, it's not meant for killing. Upgrade. 
And fusion bomb needs some love. that dance. It's funny. Alright, half the brains I need. Make that thing dance too. I think I need to make that thing dance more importantly. <coughs> but we about to get jetpack. Alright, level 8 on the fusion bomb. Jetpack right. Ratchet became the aerial scourge of a thousand thousand worlds. Or at least his commute got easier. 
Alright, yeah, fuel it up. Telepathopus brain is a wondrously complex organ. I might have to write a paper about it. Ratchet used the jetpack to fly high above hostile Ooh. territory. Can I fight that turret? I don't know if it's dancing or not. I'm really convinced that that thing can dance. We'll find out if we need to dance. No, stop killing the birds! Don't kill the birds! There we go, dance birdies! Hey Technofan, what's up man? <clears throat> Alright, I have enough juice to get over 
here, I think. Charge! Perfect. Damn peasants. Now, nice. Now, kill it. All I care is that it dances. Because I have a trophy to make all the enemies in the game dance. All the enemy types in the game dance. At least one. And it's a pain because I'm pretty sure I missed one, which means I'll have to play at least a partial playthrough. <laughs> Get all the way again. I need more brains. <laughs> Look at all that. That question check now is there um does the quality look really bad for you because my stream manager looks really pixelated. <clears throat> Mr. Zircon. And I haven't really had anybody on to give me any feedback on it. I see. I, I'm willing to believe it. I'm willing to believe it's my internet, my upload, I guess. It's been not great recently. Zerks. What else? Oh man. Monster Hunter Rise is, from what I've heard, really, really fun. <clears throat> but I've also heard it suffers from the same problem that all Monster Hunter games do, which is they are very inaccessible to newcomers. And I am a newcomer to that franchise. <laughs> Yeah. Sweet, sweet 
brains. Come to Papa. Now, remind me, because I know you played Monster Hunter with Termite a lot. Um, <clears throat> have you played um, any of the Souls games? Are you a Souls guy? Masochism? Masochism, that's the word. Not as bad as you might think. You, you die, but dying's part, it's like a... It's just part of the game. It's part of what it is. You learn, and eventually it gets easy. Like, it's not unreasonably hard, it just takes a while to learn. I saw someone compare it to playing guitar. Like, learning to play guitar. Except it takes a lot less time to get good at than learning to play the guitar. But you're not going to be amazing at playing the guitar the first time either. <clears throat> the games don't take that much longer to platinum, for example, than other games. In fact, it took less time than, like, Ghost of Tsushima to platinum Bloodborne. Ooh, I am running low on all kinds of ammo right now. Feels like a waste to not kill them with things they need to level up. But it also feels like a waste to melee them, so I suppose it's a waste of useful either way. Protoclast it is. Got the solo with groove. Yes, they do level up. So <clears throat> in fact there's a trophy for it. So you can see under each weapon there's a little experience bar. Um, the ones that are stuck at 5 mean I have to purchase the more advanced version of them with bolts, which are up in the top um, top right corner there. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's a trophy to get all the weapons to level 9, or sorry, level 10. And there's a whole other page of weapons that I haven't even purchased the advanced version of, so it's going to take me a while. Um, not a ton of time, because it's not that bad. Uh, they level up as you damage things with them, not even, you don't even have to kill them with them. Uh, if you had to kill them with them to get experience, it'd take a lot longer. So I try to switch up my weapons as much as possible to the ones that are needing leveling. <clears throat> that brain. I've got more brains than I need, but I feel like there's something. Well, I need to level my weapon, which is why I'm partial why I'm doing this. Alright, I'm gonna kill that thing. Work on for automatic damage and magma will work. I think if I sit under it, it can't do anything. To me. All out. Okay. We're gonna have to use weapons that we're not. Oh, sorry. The weapons in the new game, ripped apart, that's coming out, look freaking nuts. Can't wait. Yeah. Mess around with things like web mountain stuff. Those are kind of the best.
play, sorry, play one, play like a, uh, sorry, we were talking about two different things. We were talking about this game and Souls games. Um, would you like to play this game or would you like to play a Souls game? T Moan. What is up? Yes, fill my chat with discussion. Well, Rift Apart looks amazing. If you get a PS5, or if you have a PS5, um, I'm actually trying to grab one for a coworker, a PlayStation 5, I mean, and it is so hard. It's so hard. I consider myself insanely lucky um, to have gotten the uh, launch PS5 um, because trying to grab one now is a maddening affair. Um, anyways, uh, all that's just to say... Um, if you get a PS5, uh, the new one, Rift Apart, is gonna is probably going to be a definitive game, especially for uh, like a launch window game. But I, I say that, and with the stipulation, of course, that any game could turn out to not live up to the hype. Um, that all games are subject to that stipulation. But if what they say they're doing with the technology comes to fruition, then uh, I hope so. Basically, they're going to be able to render, like, you know, they're using the uh, SSD for uh, what it's designed for, which is to be able to instantly load and render environments, um, which is where the whole Rift thing comes into play, is they're going to, you know, render fully loaded environments without any load screens, without having to mask any of that stuff. It'll just be straight loading, which is sweet, because um, the promise of that technology is pretty cool if they can, if other developers can use it the way, hopefully, Insomniac has, um, then it could be pretty cool. Like, think of, imagine an a open world game where all the dungeons and everything are fully integrated into the, into the world. That's pretty cool if it's, you know, going to be what's done. Um, play. um, it's definitely possible with the technology is what I'm trying to is what I'm trying to communicate while playing a game and you know being ADHD. Oh, out of juice! Trick me. So many brains. So many brains. Yes, my only fear is um, that the SSD won't be able to keep up near the end of the life cycle to the like size and specs of the graphics they're trying to instantly render. Um, but I guess that makes sense in regards to if it's near the end of the life cycle, then we'll be ready for a hardware upgrade. But the idea of using solid state drives to more speedily load things is where I think is I think going to be the biggest step forward for the for the PS5 or for this generation. I mean. Yeah. They're bullet sponges, and they just... I don't have limited ammo. You... Alright, that's all I can do there. Three fusion bombs. trying to do. No, it has to be on the ground. Lame.
Burn. Burn. Ah. Right. Not quite sure. Ammo cream. Crossovers to PS6. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I see the same there. Cross gen games. Alright. Well, I'm just happy that I have a 4K TV again. So make the most out of my new console that I spent 500 bucks on. Hits already. Oh, where's the last button? Oh, I see. Oh, where's that last pad? T-Bone, have you played Returnal yet? I think you, you watched me play it when I streamed it a couple weeks ago, yeah? Boots, yeah, I do have mag boots. Whoa. Ouch. Come on, I cleared that. I cleared that. Dodged hazards and made their way into the secret Blarg lair because exploring is fun. I'm hurting. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, look, I have one health left. Aww. Sweet, sweet brain. Yeah. <clears throat> so. It's funny that you turned your nose up to uh, souls like, but roguelike. <laughs> uh, they are 
it, it's good. It definitely has piqued my interest in the genre a lot more than I had previously. What did you decide on this? Oh, that. Yes, yes. In both cases, yes. Uh, but you keep a lot more in Returnal than you might think. And you also get shortcuts in. In um, roguelikes as well, or at least in Returnal. Yeah, when you first like see the list of things that you get to keep between runs in Returnal, you're like, that's not a lot, and it's not. But it adds up more than you might think. And in Returnal specifically, it's more about adding things to the pool, the spawn pool, so to speak, than it is about keeping progress. Like keeping things so much. So it's more about being like, oh, I unlock this so that it can spawn in future rounds. And eventually you unlock more and more stuff <clears throat> that becomes, um, that makes each run like, you know, you'll stack up pretty fast. Uh, by the end, and then in both cases, both roguelike and souls-like, what the gameplay loop is meant to teach you how to play it. It's not too different from a game like Monster Hunter, quite frankly where, um, you know, the whole point is to learn by trial and error, and though you may have the feeling of more progression in, um, more direct progression, I should say, in a game like Monster Hunter, uh, because you keep so much between rounds, um, they have to pad their time some way, and they do so by grinding, which I've found in Souls and, and at least in Returnal as, a rogue, you know, as my only roguelike experience. Um, you don't have to do as much grinding. You still have to do grinding and, you know, the fact that the game is recursive, meaning you have to, you know, start it over, uh, start over portions of it, or replay portions of it, may feel grindy. Um, but it's not that bad. I I'm becoming a big fan of this idea of recursive gameplay. Uh, I wasn't. I was like you guys before. I was like, nah, I don't want to have to redo things and die all the time. That's frustrating. I don't like that. But I'm learning that I do like that. I do like the challenge and overcoming the challenge and having to learn and get better. So, got much more open mind. I really want to play Hades and, um, uh, what's the other one? Enter the Gungeon is another, another roguelite. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, hey, buddy. Ammo is a serious issue in this level. Oh, there's more. Thing that does it. So you don't die as often until the end game, yeah. Yeah, no, I can see that. Yeah, dude, I mean, heck, borrow it from, from Termite. I know he's, he has been enjoying it more than he expected, too. And uh, if he doesn't let you borrow it, you can borrow it from me, as far as I'm concerned. All right. Although I did potentially promise to let someone else borrow it, so I don't know how that's going to go, but... <laughs> But, you know, people don't... I have noticed that a lot of people ask me less frequently to borrow games and stuff like that because of COVID and all that. Mm. Alright, we're gonna fill health and ammo because... All right, I'm close to being able to afford another thing. A million for the extreme, ugh. All right, we're gonna fill out some of these. There we go. All right, that's filled out. Let's fill out 
Zircon stuff. Eh, I don't want to do Zircon. He, I have a love-hate relationship with Zircon for now. The group of Pachan then. This is the area where he was. Yeah, I just went in a big circle. Or did I? I did just go in a big circle. Up, 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 up the stairs we go. Into Voltano. So where was that rare team then? Yeah, I'm gonna go turn into brain, I think. Brains for bolts. Come back any time. I can always use more telepathicus brains. Well, I gotta use more bolts, so I'm gonna kill some more telepathic. Put telepathic pie. There we go. <laughs> oh, I amuse myself immensely. Yay! I got a trophy! But I need to get all the weapons to level 10. Yeah. 
Yeah, the last one. Oh, where's that last pad? Hmm. You don't see that last pad. Ah. Oh, out of juice. <laughs> Need a fueling station. Oh, I see it. We're gonna do it over time. What? Lava. Vale, de un boom, boom. Oh, that's already level 10. Look at that. What happens if the weapons you're using have high magazine? Arthur Morgan would say, okay, boy, come on. Trophies are a pain, not gonna lie. Being grinding trophies. Yeah, 39 grand.
is gonna be dope. Gosh, it melts. <laughs> wow. I want the advanced version of that, please. Let's look at the map. Brains, 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 brains. Are those all brains? that they gate you behind stuff. Alright. Alright, well I am kind of past time here and since I'm kind of just grinding out stuff, I might uh, call it a day here. Take care of some things. <coughs> Alright, well with that cough then, that's going to be the show for the night. So, Ratchet & Clank 2016, there have been ample opportunities to get it. If you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, it was available a few months back. Um, and uh, it was also available on the Play at Home initiative earlier this summer. So if you didn't grab it then, then tough luck. Um, you should check it out though sometime. Um, because, so, um, yeah, grab it then. Uh, if not, then it's, you know, Days of Play is happening now, so there's going to be all kinds of sales over the summer. Um, looking forward to E3 coming up in a couple weeks. That'll be fun, all the announcements and stuff. Cross fingers for some Elden Ring news. Um, <clears throat> with that, then, uh, as always, for those who are watching later on YouTube, um, or, if, you know, if you guys... T-Bone and Techno, I know you guys know the show. So, um, we obviously have this weekly Wednesday live stream here on Twitch every Wednesday at 8 o'clock or roundabouts there. Um, we also do a live show on Mondays where we talk about the news um, and stuff like that. Hasn't happened in a couple weeks because Termite is out of town, um, but we'll pick up again this coming Monday. Um, and then I'll always, as always, we also do a uh, podcast, myself and my co-host Termite, who I've ref referenced a couple times during the show. Uh, he, we do a podcast every, uh, comes out every Monday, and we just talk about stuff in the video game world. Um, so check that out at, at best place you can find us if you like our content is 80bitpodsmash.com. That's our landing website. You can find the links to all those things I just talked about. Um, and uh, more importantly, you can find mirrors uh, where you can listen to our show on any podcast platform of your choice, whether it's iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, uh, Spotify, whatever. Um, you can also find links to our social media, so if you just want to hear our random musings or Instagram pics or whatever the heck we post on a regular basis, um, you can go to Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, all 80-bit pod smash, 80-B-I-T pod smash, all one word, all lowercase letters, all that good stuff. 
So, anyways, uh, check out the content if you liked it. And if you are on YouTube watching, then hit the subscribe button. But if you also wanted to harass me live like Techno and T-Bone did, then please go to twitch.tv slash 8bitpodsmash and subscribe there as well so that you get notified when we are live. Also, if you just want to harass us during your day and be like, hey, what's up, Penguin and Termite? Then you can find links to our Discord channel in the show notes on our website. So, whew, all that aside, I don't do it nearly as good and efficiently as my co-host Termite, but hopefully it wasn't too terribly awkward. And, um, yeah, hope you guys had a good time watching me play Ratchet and Clank and Trophy Hunt. So, I bid you adieu and have a good week. <laughs>